Hello everybody and welcome to the Elemental Workshop. Uh, today's project is going to be a pretty simple one that can be put together with uh, just a few items laying around your house and maybe one or two things that you have to pick up from the store or order online. Uh, but it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty fun one with a lot of application. Uh, so just to jump right in, um, what we're going to be working on today is a simple microscope, essentially a lens that can be attached to any smartphone and turn it into a microscope with somewhere around 200 times magnification. To jump right in, um, there's only one thing that is absolutely necessary, and that is going to be um, just a, any, any sort of small, cheap laser pointer. You can actually get this from uh, any DVD player or any dollar store laser pointer you can pick up from the store, but uh, when I went, uh, I went to Walmart and a couple dollar stores, and uh, I was not able to find any. So it was actually easier for me to just uh, hop on Amazon real quick and buy a pack of uh, 10 laser diodes. Um, so it's this pack right here. And on Amazon, it cost about, I think it was about $5 for 10 of them. As you can see, uh, I've only got three left. I went through a couple iterations uh, of this design before I found one that I think uh, was the simplest and easiest to make. Uh, but that should be more than enough uh, for our purposes. So I'm just going to take one out really quick. These ones I actually like quite a bit because they're a lot easier than a lot of the other di diodes I dealt with. If you can see there in the front there is a small lens and that is what we're going to be trying to get out of them. So uh, on a lot of them, I actually had to break the metal, uh, just the metal around here to get the lens out. And uh, a lot of the times that would scratch the lens on it, um, which obviously is not great for the purposes of using it for a microscope. But uh, these ones I actually found you can, let's see if we can get that to focus. You can actually just twist and they will unscrew. So these ones are actually pretty easy especially since when you open it, you can see there's a spring in there that uh, sometimes will pop the lens out and shoot it across the room. And, and they're really quite small, so it's pretty hard to find them if that happens. So we're going to see, we're going to set that aside. That's not any use to us right now. We're going to try to, uh, actually maybe we'll use this wire to kind of poke the lens out there. Actually, that's, that's not a great idea because it will scratch that. I'm going to set this down and see if I can find something to poke that out with real quick. So what I think I settled on is uh, I'm just going to use this wooden skewer. You don't want to use anything particularly hard uh, like that wire I just tried because it'll the lenses are cheap plastic and it will scratch them really easy. Even with this wood, you're going to want to be careful. So we're just going to go in and kind of poke the lens and set that to the side. There you go, there's our tiny little laser lens. And that is going to be just one that we need. Let's set it set the type up correctly so we don't lose that. And we're just gonna grab uh, the second one of these diodes out. Open this one up. You can see on this one also has that spring in there, so we're gonna set this to the side. And uh, just try to gently, oh, that one came out a lot easier, actually. Just going to, oh, actually, came all the way, uh, almost all the way out. Okay, poke it just a little bit. And there we go. There is our second lens. Um, and what we're going to need to do, actually, one of these lenses uh, would work just fine to put over the camera on your phone. Uh, and it would magnify uh, somewhere around 60 times, I think. So this is the back of the lens. This is the front. This side is going to go... Come on, focus again. That really does not want to focus. Okay, so this side is going to go towards the camera. This side... So what we want to do next is just uh, essentially set this lens on its side on the tape there. So if you can see that, I've just, uh, there you go. I 
I just set it kind of on its side against the tape. Uh, so it's sitting there. And I'm going to come in and grab the uh, second lens. Make sure I've got it facing the, the same way like that. So you want them both facing the same way and facing right against each other. They're pretty close lined up there. And, and when we roll them up, it's going to line them up a little bit better. So now we're going to take this and uh, just start rolling it up. Oh, come on. It's going there for a second. It looks like the video cut out there for a second, but um, we rolled it up in that tube of tape, cut off the ends, and what we're left with is just these two lenses stacked on top of each other uh, in the tape. And now, because I want it to be a little easier to mount to the phone, I'm going to cut a hole right here in this uh, foam that's got a just some uh, sticky tape on the back. All right, so that took about 10 minutes longer than I wanted. Uh, but what I did was I went and switched out the tape around the lens for a stickier tape. Uh, so it held the lenses in place better. And then I switched out that thick foam pad for this thinner one and uh, kind of just cut an X where I wanted it to go and pushed the lens through, uh, pulled back this the paper and push the lens through so now it's got a few little tabs around it that are kind of sticky holding it in place um, and so it turns out we didn't even need the super glue I was just gonna throw a little super glue uh, on the sides of that to hold it in place but it's a good thing we didn't need it because uh, in some of my other runs the, uh, the fumes from the cyanoacrylate actually um, melt or bond with the plastic I'm not sure but it hazes over the lenses uh, so I'm glad we don't have to deal with that but now you can see we've got our little lens uh, this part will be going to our phone and so let's go and get that and well all we're going to do is go and uh, uh, take this now and let's uh, peel the backing off of this so we get the sticky side out okay whoops didn't quite toss that where I wanted it. And uh, I don't know if we're going to do... We're just going to put it right over the lens. We just want it to uh, be as snug to the phone as possible. This is why, if possible, I like using a sticky tack because or a mounting putty. Uh, because it's actually a lot easier to mold down. Kind of hold that. But this will work too. And it, and it comes off pretty easy, so. There we go, and if you can see, if we open the camera, it's kind of fuzzy. But uh, if we hold something up to it, if we get just the right distance right there, we can kind of see the fibers. And now we just need to make something to hold it. And that is where all of this is going to come in. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a static platform for the phone and an adjustable platform for the slides so we can kind of bring it up or closer or for closer or further away from the phone just adjust it uh, to how we need to see it and uh, to do that first we are going to poke I'm just going to line these both up something like that you see how one is bigger than the other that is because we are going to have four bolts holding this piece up from the larger bottom piece of cardboard and then two bolts holding this last piece. So I'm going to line these two up and just take, I just got this uh, file, it's a square file but anything really that pokes holes will do. We're just going to line it up and poke our four holes. I'm just going to take these four bolts and these are just, these come in little four packs at Walmart and they're about, I think they're just 97 cents.
Okay, let's get them to about the same height on H1. Looks good. Okay. And then we're just going to set this piece of cardboard under there. Let's see if we can just go push these holes through there. And then we have a, a pretty unstable but semi-stable platform that we can set our phone on top of. And as you can see, it uh, kind of hangs off the edge so that the camera is actually off the edge right there. And now we are going to make the mounting plate for this. All right, here we go. All right, let's check to see if that is big enough. Yep, they are both big enough. No, and that is by no means pretty. You can see they're pretty uneven. One's bigger than the other. Both probably a little bit bigger than I wanted them, but uh, it works, and uh, that's what's important. So now we're going to let me flip it around so you guys can see. We're going to put this up, and we want it to be kind of right I guess like right here, it's going to be, the phone's going to be hanging off the edge. So we'll set it right here and uh, just poke these holes where we want them. Yeah, line them up. Pretty close. And now we can just set this slide on top of it. Now we can put some stuff on the slide that might be interesting to look at. Uh, so for some simple ones, we're just going to go take a little bit of granular sugar. Sprinkle it on the side, right around where the lens is at. And if we put this down now, uh, we're not getting a very good focus on it. So let's uh, bring both sides up a little bit. Now I'm going to bring you a little bit closer in. And yeah, you can see that that is a much clearer picture. Maybe we could even adjust this to get a little bit. I've gone and gotten it a little bit better, so we're going to come over and see. And you can see those uh, crystals have turned up pretty nicely and now we can even zoom in on them if we want. If you really want you can go and uh, touch that up a lot better. Really uh, hand tune it. Maybe throw some wing nuts on here instead of normal nuts uh, just to get a little bit of better uh, control when you're trying to focus that. But yeah, that's uh, that's the basics of it. There we go. We've got a decent focus. And I'm going to bring you down in closer. We've got a decent focus on, uh, whoops, come on. 
the uh, cell walls there. If we can zoom in. And actually, let me see if I can zoom in on here as well. Oops. I really adjusted that. I don't know if that's in focus anymore. Maybe even if I can just... Yeah, you can see. We can move this around even. You can see some of the cell walls. Some places it's a little... There we go. That's a good example right there. And I can bring it up just with my fingers. Those darker spots, especially, I think probably the easiest one to see, even though it's not very center, is right there. Those, uh, you can see the nucleus very well, and these cell walls. And the definition is being lost because the uh, dye has been in there for a rather long time. We can zoom in on this, but it's not going to get focused a little better. But this, honestly... Zoom out to here. It's not bad. Magnification. Oh, look at that. You can really see the cells right there. So you can see right in this area. It's really well defined. So all in all, total materials, it costs us about $5 for the laser diodes. It comes to about a dollar for the two that we used. Um, two dollars for the six bolts and then uh, the cardboard was just trash the uh, Lexan was stuff that I had left over from a project but you can use any clear uh, plastic you could use a CD case cover uh, just any any clear plastic really so really the rest of it's kind of just made out of junk and it's not necessary either the stand is just to make it easier to focus in uh, you can just do it without the sand at all if you want. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple and a pretty neat project. Pretty versatile. Um, and yeah, uh, tune in next week. We're going to be doing weekly science videos. Uh, maybe actually uh, two or three a week. But uh, for sure, at least once a week. And I'm going to try to post every Friday. Uh, post a new video. So yeah, just tune in every week. And we'll get you some good stuff. Thanks and bye.